Hungarian government uh, spokesperson actually tweeted this morning saying that the Sargentini report is actually politically motivated. What is your response to that? Yeah, thank you very much for having me here. Um, the Sargentini report and the whole question of rule of law, law and human rights in Hungary has gained immense at, uh, attention, rightfully so, because the report has been uh, the culmination now of a long process of a series of alarms and worries about Hungary and its human rights protection. All throughout this process, the Hungarian government has not really engaged ever on the substance of the critical remarks, neither here at home and the ground. We're unable to really have any exchange with the Hungarian government about rule of law issues, nor at international arenas. And it, I think the government has really set out to discredit its critics, to discredit processes, but it never engages on the substance. While here we see how the erosion of the rule of law, the threats to, to exchanges, to dissenting opinions, to people and organizations who hold a critical view of government policies really is uh, countered with attacks. And that's why I think this opportunity by the European Parliament is a historic opportunity. The Parliament, I very much hope, will vote in favor of upholding human rights and rule of law in Hungary today. Marta, you're talking about erosion of rule of law, and a lot of people have been accusing Viktor Orban of driving Hungary away from uh, democracy. But the fact of the matter is he was re-elected in April. Uh, his approval ratings are still at 40 percent. How do you explain his success? Well, it's very clear that in a democracy, um, political support uh, puts parties and, fo and political forces in government. But do those forces and do these governments have no limits at all? I think this is what core European values are exactly about. They're bottom lines. They're meant to protect it and in any setting, in any scenario, the rights of the minority. And also they me they're meant to protect checks and balances on executive power. So this is the issue at stake here, that does a majority vote mean unlimited power? No, it doesn't. That's not a democracy. And I think this is the clear issue at stake, whether in Hungary the weakened system of checks and balances, the weakened institutions that are meant to, dem to protect democracy are in place. They are no longer in place. That's why we need the European Parliament not only to allow Hungary to come back on this path of democracy, but to stop the erosion of human rights elsewhere in Europe. We're witnessing that. It's a big threat and there's an opportunity want, to stop it. 